Over the past two weeks, Expansive Worlds have released a lot of information about the new reserve. As many people have guessed, it will be a Rocky Mountains inspired reserve in a fall environment. In the game survey from 2015, a North American Mountains Reserve has already ranked on top of the wishlist. Number 3 on the list, a sub-Arctic Winter Reserve has already been implemented with White Rime Ridge. In a similar survey of 2016, the North American Mountains Reserve has only been slightly topped by one other reserve. Africa maybe? We cannot know, but what we do know is that we're getting a second fall reserve. I am very excited about this decision because so far we can only enjoy the beautiful colors in the Hirschfelden Reserve. I would assume we will be able to reuse the fall camo clothes as well as the fall camo ground blind. In today's status update there was a great interview with game designer Daniel, who unfortunately is going to leave Expansive Worlds. Farewell Daniel and thanks for everything, especially for all the information you provided for the wiki. The interview gave a great insight in what is going to come, and here are the questions and the answers. Daniel started off by saying that the new reserve is going to be a combo of Hirschfelden and Redfeather Falls, with some Settler Creeks and Val de Bois sprinkled on top. Redfeather Falls and Settler Creeks are both based in the northeast of the American continent, and I could imagine they could lend a lot of their vegetation and landscape to the Rocky Mountains Reserve. Hirschfelden has already been mentioned being the other fall reserve, and Val de Bois has a lot of the tall mountains that we could expect here on these new hunting grounds. So let's look at the specific questions. Question number one. Why a reserve based on the Rockies in the first place? Answer. It was very much requested by our players, and the entire team got excited by the dramatic landscapes that the Rockies based map could offer. Question number two. Is there going to be something unique about this reserve? What would make it special in comparison to the others? Answer: It is our first fall map based on a North American environment. It also features quite a lot of exploration opportunities, more than any other map we've done before. Added to this is a handful of new species to hunt. In a former status update we've also learned that this map is going to be the largest in the game by far. My only concern with this is the larger the reserve, the more animals, the more tracks on the map. And since the game can only remember a certain amount of tracks, the lifespan of these tracks will be shorter and they will disappear sooner than on smaller maps. Next question to the game designer. What species are going to live there and can you shed some light on why you chose those specific ones? Answer: When we started with ptarmigans, we were already working on the new reserve. So we decided to add the white-tailed ptarmigan to the lineup. There will also be bighorn sheep to keep the white-tailed ptarmigans company up in the mountains. We know there are a lot of people who want more sheep and goats in the hunter, so that decision was an easy one. So my question is, will there be a separate area up in the mountains, as it is for the alpine ibex? And will there be fighting? In any case, I'm looking forward to these. Daniel then continues by saying, the Rocky Mountain Elk was also an easy decision, since we know that people like to hunt elk. In the forum someone raised the question, will Rocky Mountain Elk differ from the regular elk, being Roosevelt Elk, that we have currently in the game? Community manager Alina responded that the model, the AI and the animations were borrowed from the Roosevelt Elk, but that the antlers will be definitely different. I really enjoy hunting Roosevelt Elk and I'm really looking forward to what they do with the Rocky Mountain Elk. One of the wishes that has come up many times is larger herds, we will see. Then the game designer stated that it also felt like it was time to give the good old mule deer somewhere new to hang out, so they will roam the map as well. I personally think this is about time. Mule deer was the first animal in this game after all, alongside white-tailed deer. It started out on Whiteheart Island and was later moved to Loggers Point. What comes to my mind here is the well-established long-range shooting at the Canyon Creek. The new mountainous map will certainly bring opportunities for longer shots on this deer species. The sugar coating for me will be the introduction of the fifth species here, the grizzly bear. Let's hear what Daniel says about it. We needed something iconic for the reserve and the vote fell on perhaps the most iconic North American big game animal around, 
the grizzly bear. I think this is awesome, we will have four bears now. We've heard from expansive worlds that not only will they introduce the grizzly, they will also revise the current bears, the brown bear and the black bear. Someone on the forum asked, can you please add more idle sounds to the bears? To which the community manager responded that she forwarded that suggestion to the sound guy. So the bears are certainly getting a lot of attention at expansive worlds. There was one more interesting statement by community manager Alina. She said that the grizzly bear will have a special behavioral trait. Now this of course opens a can of worms, what will this be? It cannot be attacking because we already have this with the other bears and even with other species. Could the grizzly bear be the first animal that follows you, that hunts you? Will the grizzly be able to stand up? Will there be more animal interaction? Will there be a new way for luring bear? I'm going to exclude climbing trees because I think the trees in the game are not fit for this. Whatever this special trait is going to be, Alina said that the grizzly bear is definitely going to be the bear 2-0. Last question to the game designer. What excites you most about the upcoming reserve? What are you looking forward to the most? To which he responds, the environments are simply stunning. But I also look forward to something unannounced that will be added to the reserve a little bit later after its initial release. Nice! More surprises!